gonna be tricky. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff today. But let's see if it works. Water is so clear. So, got a new battery. This thing is awesome. It's so thin. Right there, it just fits in my crate. And it's an 80 amp hour lithium. It's amazing. All right, welcome back. We are in the sound today. It is very foggy once again, you know, with these higher air temps and the still colder water, it kind of makes a lot of foggy conditions, but I'm just kind of trolling here slowly to the area I want to get to. We're gonna go for fluke today. Water temps are 54, so it's a little cold still but the water is very clear and I do think if they're around I can get you know maybe one or two to bite so we'll see if there's bait around you know depending on the size of the presentation that we should go for yeah I'm just kind of testing the side scan out too which is kind of cool it's working out pretty nice actually it, it does work a lot better in the sound than like in the bays and stuff so I'm seeing some marks here too Oh, looks like there's definitely a couple fish around. Should have favorable drift conditions too. So I really think if there's fluke around, we have a decent shot at them actually. I do like these new penny ones. So here we go. We marked some boulders with the side scan. I'm gonna go back over it now. Oh! Oh, dang. Can't believe I just had one. There we go. Ugh, again. Could be porgies. I think part of my tail is gone. Yep. Go back over that. If I lose this one, I'll probably have to go to a smaller profile. I'm getting some marks here on the on the top of this boulder. My guess is these are porkies. Porgy. Yeah, it's a good size porgy. All right. Oh. Nice. We'll take that guy. It's a good first porgy for the day. I think it's more porgies. Oh man, this is a good one though. All right, found him.
Yes, I think he'll be okay. So it's like almost a 14 inch poorly. It's a good, it's a good one. I don't think the tide is supposed to be strong until like 7.38. And that's really the time when I want to be on that ledge. We're drifting at 0.7. That's pretty good. It's really good. There's some splashing in the distance. And they're nibbling at it. Another fouled hook. Yeah, see, they're a little bit smaller sized. A lot of times, what they're doing is they're they're chasing this thing down, and they get really close to it. And as soon as I jig up like that, I snag them. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good one. I think I can get a bigger one. So I'm switched to a slightly smaller profile. That's a fluke. I think that's a fluke. Yeah, that's a fluke. That's definitely a fluke. <clears throat> oh, it's a nice fluke. Oh, dang, it's a nice fluke. And the stupid net. Like, oh. oh, I'm gonna lose this thing. He just spit up a whole fish of some kind. Oh my. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wow. On that little tiny gulp, too. I don't know why you went after that. All right. To measure him in the net, make sure he's 18 and a half. Oh yeah. He's uh, 19 and a half. His mouth closed. Yeah, he's like 19 and a quarter. Keep him, bleed him, and keep him. Let him 
halfway down the net. Sure, it's a nice fish. I still find it pretty funny that that's what he went after. Oh, and leader's fine. That little tiny thing. <laughs> Sometimes it's just it's just better to keep it simple. That we have a keeper, we can actually drink some seltzer. Hmm. Guava mule. I don't know what mule means, but I don't find this as uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's like it's like sweet, but then the mule is like not sweet. I don't know. It's a weird flavor. Seven o'clock. So we caught that fish at probably like six forty-five. So this is why I think it's so important, though, to document your catches and locations. This is the third season now that I've caught a keeper fluke in this area around this time of year, late May, early June. There's gotta be something going on because I come over to this area. Oh, but I come over to this area different times of the season and it's dead. There's something about early season here. See you, Robin. It's oh, another good, nice take right there. Could have been a fluke. Releasing porgies now. Probably have to bump up to a bigger weight soon. Using three eighths of an ounce right now and 40 feet of water. Current isn't at its peak right now. Well, it's coming up though. 7.30, 8 o'clock. Sea robins are deep, 46 feet. Somehow it's supposed to get up to 90 degrees today. But I'm cold, like I'm cold right now. I don't know what temperature it is now, but I'm, I'm not hot at all. And this fog is still pretty thick. Oh. I definitely want to do the underwater camera, but the lighting is just not going to be good, I don't think. I'm not going to see much. It's nice, you can just troll nice and slowly. Re get back to the new drift. Eat a PB and J while you're doing it. I'm just trying some stand-up jigging. The uh, Elias V Mackinac. It's a 1.3, 1.3 ounce. I think my drift is like, it's a little fast. It's like 0 0.8, 0 0.9. I just want to try something different. And that, that fluke that I caught did spit up a 
pretty large fish, probably something like this big, so. I think this natural fish presentation should work. If there's a big fluke out here, he should want it. Oh. What is that? That small sea bass? It is a small sea bass. Wow. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Awesome colors. feet oh that could be a fluke mm, it's a sea robin Got him, buddy. That's another sea robin or a porgy. How's a porgy? Eight forty-two. I'm gonna keep going for fluke for a little bit more here. That's a fluke. Oh yeah, that's a fluke. Definitely a fluke. Oh. <sighs> Messing with the drag too much, I guess. <clears throat> she just kept it tight. Oh, sh. So, first of all, if I didn't get out of the way, I likely would have been hit by this boat. It was going pretty fast in the fog. But, second of all, if you noticed, he turned around and then pretty much started following me. Because I went to go reset my drift, and they pretty much turned the boat around and started following me. And then, yeah, uh, proceeded to basically anchor exactly where I was fishing and starting my drift. The second thing I would note is that I'm not marking porgy, so it's not like he found a school of porgies and then wanted to turn the boat around and land on them. Dude, look at this. It just anchored right on me. Mm. 
I'm the only one around here. Look at that. Crazy. Never seen anything like it. Why? That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so I couldn't take too much more of that. And I kind of had to leave anyway, so I left. It's like 9.30, I'm gonna call it early. Gotta get back. And that boat, that boat just totally ran up on me and sat there and blasting music and it's just, it's just ridiculous. I, I don't get it. The whole Western sound is covered with porgies. Like why, why you have to go right there in the fog? I was just like, what are the chances like that the city island party boats are gonna run up on my spot I, in the middle of the fog. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh well. Got a keeper fluke, so I'm very happy with that. And yeah, there wasn't like a whole lot of life there, you know, probably more sea robins than anything. Definitely not a lot of fluke. I only had like two solid fluke bites that I know were fluke. Maybe a couple others. And yeah, there's definitely porgies, but there's not like thick porgies there. So I'm sure that even those people on that party boat using clam and worm are gonna like have to work to get porgies because it's, it's not a massive school out there yet. It's good to get out, very thankful. It looks like uh, spring, spring fishing in the sound is, is officially started. So yeah, it's definitely some life in the sound. All right, see you on the next one, thanks.